Hi, I'd like to introduce you to a product called the Purse Butler. It's a floor stand that can hold up to 50 pounds of purses, uh, up to as many as 15 purses at a time. And one of the main reasons that I designed it was because in a bedroom with a very small closet such as this, it's not a big walk-in closet, it's a reach-in closet, there simply isn't enough room to store the purses and keep them in their proper condition. Um, without having them fall off hangers and get dust bunnies on them from the floor. This is so attractive. It sits in a room and no matter how small the space is in your room, there's always a corner to stick a purse butler. Once you've had one in your bedroom, you will not know how you live without having a purse butler. So this is my second favorite place in your home to put a purse butler. It's in the kitchen. Find a nice little corner where it's tucked away and when you come home after you've been out all day and your purse has been touching the grounds and you don't know what exactly it's got on it, you definitely don't want to have germs on your counters and that's what we tend to do. We throw our purses on the counters, put our keys, get our groceries down and we have no idea what we've just added to our counters. Purse butler, you come in, you put it on its place, you always know where to find your keys and if you're hosting a dinner party or having your girlfriends over, you don't want to put their purses on the floor. What a great spot. Just put it on the purse butler and enjoy it. So this is the third favorite place to have a purse butler in your home. Right at the front door. You come on in, you're heading up the stairs, hang up your purse. When the kids come home from school and they've got their backpacks thrown on the floor, they can hang those backpacks right up on the purse butler, keeping it nice and tidy right at your front entrance. There is a spot in every single home to have a purse butler.